Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So if you ever have walked into a mainline Protestant church, every single pew has Bibles in it. In contrast, when you walk into a Catholic church, there are no Bibles in the pews. And it confirms all of the stereotypes that Catholics don't go by the Bible and don't care about the Bible. So it took me months of attending mass until I realized that the songbooks in the pews actually have the Bible for the entire year. Usually it's the front of the songbook. So they actually change up the songbooks every year. They go through cycles. So there's three different ones, a three year lectionary cycle and then repeats. church decides on a gospel reading, epistle, Old Testament, psalm for every single day. Every single Sunday's readings for the entire year is in that book in the pews. And interestingly enough, at my parish, and I'm sure at many, we hand out The Word Among Us and The Little White Book. For Lent, it was called The Little Black Book. These have the scripture readings for every single day. A lot of people at my parish read the daily scripture readings every single day. You can use the Catholic app Laudate. They have the scripture readings on it. You can Google the United States Council of Catholic Bishops, which is abbreviated USCCB. Amazing website. They they have the daily scripture readings there as well. So I would say that the church really, really encourages and gives guidance of how to read the Bible for every day. And I think the reason that they don't just have an entire Bible at the mass is because the church really cares about interpreting the Bible right. And this interpretation strategy of looking at different parts of the Bible together to understand it correctly was actually really emphasized at my Protestant church. That was a huge thing where you want to look at individual verses, individual chapters of the Bible within the context of the entire Bible. But we don't completely want anyone to just open the Bible and read something randomly outside of a sermon, a Bible class, a teacher, someone who's gone to seminary. Yes, there are parts of the Bible like be angry and do not sin. Live at peace with each other. Be compassionate, be kind. Jesus says, lend everyone without asking. A lot of these things are really obvious, except lend everyone without asking. That's kind of confusing and needs a clear interpretation. But my point is, a lot of Protestant churches hyper-focus on the New Testament. And I would say that in general, a lot of parts of the New Testament are very self-evident. But a majority of the Bible is the Old Testament, and there's a lot of parts of it, like the entire old law of the Israelites, the first five books of the Bible, a lot of the Psalms, things by the prophets, which were extremely historically based on what was happening at the time. And so I hope you guys are understanding that if you just open a Bible on your own, it's likely that you'll understand it in a way that it was not meant to be understood. And so that's why the Catholic Church really, really encourages people to read the Bible, but they wanna be careful that we interpret it in a way within the context of the entire Bible and within the context of someone who's gone to seminary, like your priest, teaching scripture. 
I think that's really amazing. When we go to Mass, we don't just have the Bible open, but we have the Bible for the entire year. And then the priest is giving a sermon, basically interpreting the Bible for us based upon the infallible teachings God taught to the apostles. First century tradition, oral tradition of what Jesus' original apostles were teaching. That is still infallibly taught in the Catholic Church. So that's a really basic but thorough explanation of why you won't just see full out Bibles in a Catholic church. Something else to add on is that you're thinking of this in the wrong way. So you don't see an entire physical Bible on every pew, but if you listen throughout the entire mass, almost everything that the priest says and that the people say back, the prayers, everything that is memorized, are verbatim Bible verses. And I'm going to link below several websites that go through every single word of the Mass and show exactly which Bible verse is from it. But literally dozens of things that you hear constantly throughout Mass are Bible verses. And so yes, we have the block scripture readings that we read, but also Every single thing said throughout Mass is just Bible verses. So I'm going to link below and you can go through every single part of the Mass and see which Bible passage it's from. And my last video, I talked about my entire Lent experience. Lent just ended and now we're in Easter week. But I talked about in the video about how I did Stations of the Cross for a lot of Lent. And there's a booklet for Stations of the Cross and it has different prayers and Bible verses that you read as you walk around and kind of experience the different parts of Jesus being convicted by Pilate, carrying the cross, crucified, etc. And I said in my Lent video that Stations of the Cross was the most Bible verses ever I've experienced read together in any church setting in my life. There was so much scripture from all over the Bible and for 30 minutes we prayed and read it together and meditated and connected it to Jesus' entire mission. So my experience being Catholic for only a year is that Catholicism is obsessed with the Bible. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!